Welcome to Power Search. In this video, we're diving into an essential workflow for Revit users. How to set up shared coordinates in Revit when working on cloud workshed projects. We'll be following the recommended workflow from Autodesk to ensure your models align perfectly across different locations and teams. Whether you're working with multiple sites or need to integrate models accurately, this guide will walk you through step by step. Let's start with the context. Imagine you're working on a single site with multiple buildings, and each building needs to be managed by different teams for efficiency. To achieve this, we'll segregate the model into separate files, where each file has a common reference point such as a project level or datum. and also its own independent survey point and coordinates. However, all of these need to be coordinated in a federated model during the planning stage. This coordination ensures every team works in sync. Then upload and share the models in the cloud. Step two, prepare the building model. First, open the model you want to set up. For example, let's use building A. We'll define a new site for this model. To do this, in the project location panel, select location. Define your project address. And then move to the site tab. In the dialog box, duplicate the default site and rename it. For example, building A. Set building A as current and click OK. This establishes the new site for your project. Step 2B, link the site model. With that done, we'll now link the site model into building A. Head to the insert tab and click link Revit. In the Import Link Revit dialog, choose the site model from the cloud and use Auto Center to Center for positioning. Click Open to load the site into the project. In Step 2C, we'll position the site model. Align the site model with your building model. In a plan view, use the Align tool to match grids, levels, or known reference points from the site to the building. Do the same in elevation view to align the topography with the base of your building. This step ensures both models are spatially coordinated. It's important to identify the link because this affects the alignment order. To do this, select it in the project browser and click Visible in View. Step 2D, acquire the shared coordinate system from the site model into the building A model. Acquiring shared coordinates is one of the most critical steps in the process, as it ensures that each building model aligns perfectly within the site model. This allows the entire project to function as a cohesive unit with consistent geographic positioning across all files. We'll close off this step by synchronizing. Step 3 mirrors what was done in Step 2, but this time it applies to Building B by establishing its relationship to the shared site. To recap, a new site location is created specifically for this model. This involves duplicating the default site and renaming it to 
Building B. This ensures that Building B has its own defined site setup. Once the site is defined, the site model is linked into the Building B model. Using tools like the alignment and positioning commands as we did previously, the site is carefully adjusted to correspond with the building's layout and reference point. Finally, the shared coordinate system from the site model is acquired into Building B, aligning their coordinate systems and locking the relationship between them. This ensures that the building model is properly integrated with the shared site data. Point 5 involves copying the defined site location into each building model by transferring project standards, ensuring alignment and consistency between the models. For building A, open the model and navigate to the Manage tab. Select the Transfer Project Standards tool from the Settings panel. In the Select Items to Copy dialog box, choose Building B as the source model. Deselect all options by clicking Check None, then select Only Project Info. Click OK to initiate the transfer, and then click New Only to prevent duplicate types. For Building B, follow the same steps, but select Building A as the source model in the Select Items to Copy dialog box. Again, deselect all options by clicking Check None, select only Project Info, and click OK to start the transfer. Select New Only to remove duplicate types. This process ensures that the site locations are shared between Building A and Building B. In point 6, we verify all positions inside the site model. This is the federated model. This step ensures that all building models are correctly linked to the site model using shared positioning for precise coordination. Link building A using shared positioning. Open the Insert tab and select Link Revit from the Link panel. In the Import Link Revit dialog box, Navigate to and select Building A. Under Positioning, choose the option by Shared Coordinates. Click Open. In the Location and Site dialog box, specify the site where you want to place the model. For Building A, select Building A and click OK to confirm. And now do the same for Building B.
Following these steps, you can ensure that all building models are correctly linked to the site model with shared positioning, maintaining accurate spatial relationships and enabling seamless collaboration across the project. Try it out yourself and let me know how it works for you in the comments. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.